Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to use a custom CSS variable. In uh, the last section, we uh, assigned a variable to penguin skin, and uh, now we're going to uh, use one. After you create your variable, you can assign its value to another CSS property by referencing it, by referencing the name you gave it. They give an example. This will change. They get, the example is background colon there, and then inside of the parentheses dash dash the variable that we set up, which in this case is penguin skin. This will change the background of whatever element you are tag targeting to gray because the value of penguin skin is gray. Uh, note that the style will not be applied unless the variable names are exact match. So you need to get them exactly right. That's always the case with variables. Apply penguin skin variable to the background property of penguin top, penguin bottom, right hand, and left hand classes. So we'll start at the top, penguin top. Oh, it's nice. They actually put it in here. You change the code below and you change the code above. And so in here, what we're going to do is just <clears throat> uh, go there, dash, dash, penguin skin. And then we should see it's change. Oh, cool. So now the penguin top has changed. Um, now that we have that one done, we're going to move on to penguin bottom, which is over here. And now what are we going to do? The same thing. And we see the bottoms change, that's great. And now we're going to move on to the right hand. The right hand's changed, awesome. And now we're finally going to finish up with the left hand. And the other hand's changed, that's great. And now we should be able to run the test. Now here's the cool thing about being able to use uh, variables. If we are looking for we can change, if we look up here, we can change this variable. Now, the cool thing about having all four of those things set to the same variable, let's say we wanted to make it red, we could change all of them at once just by changing it one spot. This is why this is especially useful. And we change it back to gray and we run the test. We're good to go. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.